Chakra, you are my own big golden rat, honey. Yeah. <laughs> hey everybody, this is Brett. And today, by coincidence, I guess you could call it, I just received this little <clears throat> article from the Good News Network entitled, Rats are saving elephants from hidden landmines on their migration routes. <laughs> How could that be? These tiny bomb detectors are helping to clear the way for their large animal counterparts to safely migrate the African plains without risking an explosion. These African giant pouched rats, named hero, nicknamed Hero Rats, have made the international headlines for their groundbreaking work in clearing minefields with their noses. Because they are too small to set off the explosives, the rodents can sniff out the bombs and allow their human counterparts to safely disarm or detonate them. APOPO, the charity them, that employs the clever, clutter, <laughs> clever critters, <laughs> has been tasked by the Zimbabwean Ministry of Defense with clearing the deadly landmines inside what is now the Great Limpopo Trans Frontier Park, the largest conservation area in the world spanning Af South Africa, Mozambique, and Zimbabwe. The mines don't just pose a threat to endangered wildlife species such as lions, tigers, and elephants. They have also proven risky to the Zimbabwean communities who are cut off from water sources, livestock grazing lands, and cross-border trading routes. Additionally, the mines could usher in millions of dollars worth of international ecotourism for Zimbabwe. Christoph Cox, CEO of APOPO, said, we are proud to be able to help Zimbabwe rid itself of these mines during an incredibly important period in the nation's history. We saw this approach work in, in Mozambique, which is now mine free, and believe we can help accomplish the same in Zimbabwe. Mozambique became the first nation to declare mine, be declared mine free after 22 years of work and the government removed more than 171,000 landmines and opened up more than 4,200 acres of land for safe passage to the local communities. If you're worried about how the rats feel about working in such a dangerous field, pardon the pun, have no fear the NGO has assured that their 300 bomb sniffers are treated like heroes, they, the heroes they are. Over the course of the Belgian charity's 20-year career, the rats have safely located over 106,000 mines. And they also have proved efficient in sniffing out tuberculosis tuberculosis. According to the APO, uh, the hero rats have detected over 12,000 TB positive patients who were missed by their clinics. <laughs> Take that, doctors! And prevented almost 90,000 potential infections of tuberculosis. That's it. And, um, also, if I haven't told you this before, and I have, but some of you didn't know, the Good News Network is awesome. And now I get three good news stories every single day sent to my email, and I read them every single day, religiously. And, um, and so, there are no coincidences. I've learned this, and this is part of my spirituality, okay? And so, today, 
the mail comes in about two to three hours from 10 a.m. to 11 a.m. and I will be receiving two rat traps. Junior is in there and I will catch him today and anyone else that decides to go in there. I also have an, a cat potential option from my neighbor but I don't think I'll have to, to do that. But Thank you so much for joining me. Have a happy day. Now check this out. Woo! Sorry about the glass there. <laughs> That's double pane glass. You, you deserve a, a beautiful view. You deserve a beautiful view of that sunrise right there. That's what you deserve. Sunshine on my shoulder makes me happy. Sunshine in my eyes can make me cry. Sunshine on the water looks so lovely sunshine almost always gets me high